Hey, it's five o'clock on a Sunday afternoon and load shedding has struck again. Uh, it's a particular problem right now because we have a hundred chickens in a brooder and without electricity, the heat lamps don't work and they get cold and so it's my job now to fire up the generator and to get some power to the house. I'm going to head away from the noise so that we can actually hear what I'm saying. I'll take you through to where we've set up a temporary brooder to get our 100 birds started up. There we go. This is a new venture for us. Um, I was very inspired by a couple of videos I'd seen online, part of the polyface farming movement with uh, Joel Salatin and John Siskovich and all that kind of stuff, using chicken tractors and raising up some broilers and uh, taking them to market after eight weeks. So this is a, a test for us and we want to kickstart 2021, trying new ideas and, and seeing what works on a small scale to begin with. They are very cheap to, to start with. These broiler birds are eight rand a bird, which in terms of pounds, I don't even know if I can do the math for that. Probably 30 pence. So around 40 or 50 US cents. It's very, very easy and cheap to, to start and get into it. The biggest expense is coming next week where I have to make the chicken tractor the outside hutch where they get raised on the pasture and that's going to involve buying some chicken wire and some timber and things but I'll make a video on that. I actually started to to film a whole video with the, the, the broilers and, and everything and the reason why I'm using my phone now is because the camera I had it set up and it, fell from a height and smashed. So I'll be claiming from insurance maybe tomorrow, hopefully get a new camera and things can resume. So basically all these chicks need is somewhere dry, somewhere clean uh, to live, that's warm, with a bit of food and a bit of water and uh, they grow like crazy but uh for now we're just gonna cut our teeth on this 100 birds and, and see how we how we end up plus they super cute they look like little yellow fluffy dinosaurs or something One of the big things that we have to deal with here, particularly in South Africa, I suppose it's everywhere you raise chickens, but we get some pretty hectic predators. And we have some wire mesh over the top just to keep some airflow, but if we had to leave these birds totally vulnerable, right? I reckon if uh, we get a wild cat here called a Nwagi, and if one of those comes by and catches a whiff, the entire 100 birds would be gone in one night. Uh, they are crazy, crazy, crazy predators. Plus, when they go out into the chicken tractor, um, the predators we have are honey badgers, we have lynx or caracal, which is kind of like a, it's not quite a bobcat if you are American, but similar kind of thing. And we get a lot of mongoose, mongoose, mongai, yellow mongoose, banded tail mongoose, water mongoose. We get all of them here. And if they get in, man, it is game over in one night. I've just joined a, a group of, of chicken farmers and uh, one of the guys in there just sent through some footage, which I'll show you now, of a honey badger getting into, into his coop one night. It's
this kind of also explains the weird bed frame over there. It's just something that was in the in the workshop. Um, one of our kids outgrew it or something. But that goes on top of the brooder at night to prevent anything from getting in. I'm just about to do a little bit of chores with them. So I need to change the water. I need to just make sure that they've got enough food and throw some sawdust over wherever there might be a sort of big clump of poop or something just to stop the flies and keep things nice and dry. So that's my job right now and uh, it shouldn't take more than two minutes. <laughs> twice a day morning and evening but load shedding makes it a complete and utter nightmare because load shedding is on a schedule which stages up or down and you just get a time slot and they cut your power so this past week um, we've had some really inconvenient times we've had power cuts from 3 a.m. to 5 30 a.m. which means setting the alarm for uh, uh, 10 to 3 getting up turning on the generator sorting out water and food and going be back to bed at like quarter past half past three waking up again at half past five turning the generator off switching the system back on and uh, hopefully the power's back on and we've had a few of those this week and uh, we've got a few coming up they've extended load shedding through this week so man i've already had a meeting with a consultant to go off grid and I'm seriously, seriously considering it um, because this national energy supply company, ESCOM, is... I wish... I, I could literally do an 11 minute video of complaining at just about ESCOM. So yeah, that's the chores with the birds at this early stage. I think it's very similar once they hit the chicken tractors. It's just making sure that they have a constant supply of clean food and fresh water and that they are safe from the elements and predators. And uh, that's why it appeals to me because I actually, I really like this. I, this is really fun. And the girls love it too. I mean, my two little girls went nuts the first day this arrived. And uh, I think I have a little clip of that actually. One of the next things for 2021, I found a bit of a bargain. We need a, another mode of transport here on the farm and I managed to find this agricultural bike for sale on Facebook for like literally peanuts it was 2,000 Rand which is maybe 90 pounds 130 dollars something like that it needs a bit of TLC it's kind of like rusty and rattly but it does start and it does run but not great So as you can see, my mountain bike workshop has really taken a smash uh, over the festive season. I've just neglected it completely. I think I've only swept it out twice. And uh, now that's not a, that's a lie actually. I, um, I fixed two friends' bicycles during this period. Anyway, whatever. I'm going to just uh, set up a quick time lapse and see if I can tidy this thing out because it's driving me nuts. And since I have a camera in my hand, it's kind of spurring me on to do it. Uh, please excuse the noise of the generator. 
but I thought I'd show you the vegetable patch which is coming along nicely. Um, we're also using a fun new product which I'll talk to you more about once I can get a bit of sign off. It's called Explo Grow and uh, the science behind it is very exciting, very 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 cool. Um, so this is the veggie patch behind us, it's not entirely by my hands pretty much at all. but. We want to grow enough to support us as a family and maybe give some away. We have chilies, we have bell peppers, we have carrots, we have beetroot, we have marrow, we have lettuce and we have carrots. I might have said carrots already. But let me give you a quick tour. We have long beds going up so it's easily accessible. Oh, let's not forget about the basil. But these are the chilies and pepper trees over here and soon to be sprouting will be everything else so we have our oh, beans we have beans coming up here beetroot coming up there lettuce coming up there nice rosemary marrows over here and carrots over there just a fun family garden something to get the kids involved and we really enjoy it I'm not a green thumb at all but I love my veggies and uh, I love seeing them from seed all the way through to harvest so there you go a very very quick video kick-starting 2021 literally but as soon as I get my hands on a new camera the uploads will be a lot more regular and I will keep you up to date with what's going on in the farm. So a couple of things that you can look forward to coming out soon is the build of the chicken tractors, which should be next week or so. The veggie patch, which is looking really, really good. What we're going to do there, how we're going to progress through that. Um, maybe something to do with the bike. It's definitely more trail building with the mountain bikes. Um, my office build out, that yellow caravan that's still standing there like a painful reminder that still needs to be done and and much 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 more but this was just a kickstart video to show you where we're heading for 2021 uh, very excited also very freaking daunted with this covid thing don't know what's going to happen it's either going to be like fine and it's going to fade away or it's a zombie apocalypse I, I don't see anything in between anyway um that's it from me for today and hopefully i'll have another upload for you next week something fun a little bit more fun with the chicken tractors and how we build that and where they go and all the stuff around that so yeah thank you very much for watching and i will see you again next week